What's been some of the most difficult times, um, Jason, in terms of, uh, and when I say t- difficult, I'm talking about outside of the ring. Uh, what are some of the, some of the things that it may just just kind of got you like, man? Right now, this is just hard. My it? son, my, I don't even I don't, I want to talk about that. Too much. Uh, my son, so my son, um, we did everything right. Me and my wife. It was our. Um, it, it, so uh, my 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 wife now she's brought up um, my first daughter um, from a previous mar- marriage, um, and she's she's brought her up since she's one. So um, our daughter calls mum mum and she calls her blood mum by her maiden name um because that's um how close she is to um my wife and her real mum because they have you know she spent so much time with my blood mum. anyway so we done everything right we done everything right health foods everything like everything under the sun to have our first child and then our first child um our, our first child got um, got brain damage, fully brain damage. So that was the, the that was that was hard. That was really hard. That 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 fucking that hit me down hard. And I remember um, we done we were in hospital for two weeks, done all these tests, did a lumbar punch so many times. I don't know if you know lumbar punch. It's in the it's in the back. It hurts the baby. Mm-hmm. Done all these blood tests, and um, nothing. They didn't know what was wrong with him. And the last day, tomorrow, they were going to do an MRI, which was the brain. And because they'd done everything physical, I just fucking had this feeling something, something, something's, something's wrong with the brain. I prayed, I prayed, I prayed, I prayed to God, I prayed to God, please let, him, please let my son be okay, please let my son be okay. Take me tonight, run me over, kill me, but let my son be okay. Um, and then we went, and they, they took us to the room, and uh, and the doctor said there was a, we were in a room, me and my wife were like um, ten doctors, and they um, they said he's got brain damage over all parts of his brain. Um, how um, at some stage in inside the room um, he didn't get oxygen into his brain, that was hard. Yeah, that that was that was fucking hard. Um, you know, like I would have been happy if God did take me and and let him let him come normal, just so he could be um, enjoy life like every other child. He did nothing to the world. Why did why did why did why did this happen? Um, but um, he's a pleasure. He's an absolute mm-hmm. pleasure, my son. I love having my son. Wouldn't have it any other way. That's the way. That's the way they gave him to us, um, and he's fucking beautiful. Um, he's taught us a lot. He's taught me a lot of patience. Um, yeah, I've learnt a lot from him. I've um, learned a lot of different things in life that I wouldn't have learnt without him. Um, and I think a whole lot of our community has learnt a lot because our community is awesome. We've done massive fundraisers for him. Um, so I think a whole lot of it, it has opened up the kickboxing community to CP as well with my son. Um, yeah, yep, yeah, that's probably the yeah, that's probably the hardest thing I've ever come across. I think. Um, what else has been happening, man? Fucking death, death. So many death has been happening. You know, one of my best friends, well, two of my best friends now, um, Patty, uh, another mate, Jaime, my older brother, my mum. I don't know, fucking hell, is it just my age? But, you know, I remember um, the first, it was first, it would have been, it was my brother, it was my mum, and, uh, and I, you know, after like the third person really close to me, and they break you, it breaks you, it breaks you. You're just happy to, you just want to stay at home. You don't want to go out in public, but you have to. Um, but then I just, uh, after a while, I just started saying, everyone's gonna die. I'd say it out loud. I'd do like a, like I used to do my fight hypnotherapy. Then I just do it to myself. Everyone's gonna die. Everyone's gonna die. Everyone's gonna die one day. Just to prepare myself because it really hit me hard. First couple of times there were people that were close to me, my 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 brother, my mum, Patty, and um, they were pretty heavy. Um, 
Yeah, I, uh, I think it maybe after, I can't remember, was it my, my mum or Patty? I just started, I, I just, just one day I just started saying, everyone's going to die. Everyone's gonna, just to prepare myself yeah. for the next person. Um, and everyone is going to die. Um, yeah, so that, so those have been hard. And, you know, um, I got so used to, um, dealing with funerals and what you do um yeah um i even um emceed um, i emceed one of my best friends um funeral and that was a bit of shock but because i've been around in the last five years i've been so many funerals um i did a good job or oh, i've just been so so used to being there it's not a good thing but it's it's life eh? Yeah. we're all gonna die one day at least I now I know. I mean, you know when you grow up, you know. But fuck, it's a shock when it's it happens. Just have to prepare for it. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for sharing yeah, that. Shows, shows. Shows. Sorry for the losses. And yeah. Um, what else can I say? Is there, is, there, is, there, is there an easier thing that I can talk about? That was, uh, <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Uh, shit. Nah, nah. Show us, nah, uh, Yeah. I um, think because, man, you know, life throws us so many challenges and. For a lot of men, when we're faced with these challenges and we go through our rock bottom experiences, you can either end up staying down and letting a lot of these stuff like swallow you up. And that's why hey, we see a lot of like men um, not recover well. And then you see others that really, through the through time and through the journey, they're able to sort of pick themselves back up and I think hearing a story like yours also even though it's a, it's really hard to share um, it really encourages others that man there is a way through it and, and the way you process it uh, everyone processes things differently but at least um, we're hearing a different side to how to process some of these griefs and mm. so yeah and you know man honestly shit time heals it really does, eh? Time heals, man. Just hang in there, man. Hang in there. Time heals. You just need time. Just time. It just it it does ease things. Um, the longer you go through it, um, the further it slips away. Mandate.